Hello, Marcel here, and today I will show you how to use the Adapt from Stock Top feature in Ornitrix for Maya. Oftentimes a question comes up how to compact or reduce the size of the stack by forcing some of the changes on top of the stack to be collapsed into an edit guides shape that is lower inside of the operator stack. And with Ornatrix this is quite easy and serves a great purpose in a lot of the hair grooming workflows. So let me demonstrate this. I just have my basic hair here generated with guides from mesh surface. This is a basic straightforward scalp and we have some guides on top of it. And then I added an edit guide shape on top of this. This doesn't do anything yet, so we'll just leave it like it is. Let's say on top of this I want to add some changes, like for example gravity, which is going to put the hair down a little bit, and then maybe I'll add some curling on top of this, and uh, I'll reduce the curling on the tips. Some other parametric changes can be added, like frizz for example, so I can make my hair a little bit more random looking and chaotic. <coughs> maybe I'll set it to 10. But the basic idea is that we are doing some kind of changes on top of this hair above of our edit guides shape over here. And what we want to do now is to basically remove these three operators over here and to take all of the changes that they do to the guides and put them inside this edit guides shape, basically baking these changes into our edit guides shape. This can be quite easily done by going into the root mode of the edit guides and then selecting all of the hairs or even some of the hairs if you don't want this to be done for all of them. And then going down to the guide operations rollup and in here you'll find the adapt from stock top button. Once I click this button you can see that the changes which were done above of this edit guides shape node are now inside of our edit guides node over here and you see that the shape of the guides is a little bit different. The guides are in red and whatever is at the top of the stack is in purple here and that is because we're getting kind of an additive effect. So if I go and turn off these three operators over here we have our final guides shape and it is captured inside this edit guides shape over here. So effectively we can now go and delete these three operators that were performing the changes, the parametric changes on our guides and we have captured them inside this edit guides shape. So use this option to capture the shape of guides from top of the stack or end of the hair pipeline and collapse it down into some part of your stack inside an edit guides shape. In another tutorial we will learn how to do the same thing but instead of getting the changes from the top of the stack we will be getting them from the bottom of the stack. So stay tuned for that. Thank you.